altar is a system of authorization. I want to share a few things with you about altars. An altar is a system of authorization. An altar is not just a monument. It is a system of authorization. An altar is a platform. Write it down. Where the realm of the spirit makes contact with the physical realm on legal grounds. An altar is a platform where the realm of the spirit makes contact with the physical realm on legal grounds. I'm taking out time for us to write this because I want us to understand it. I said an altar is a system of authorization. And then an altar is a platform where on legal grounds the realm of the spirit is allowed to make contact with the physical realm. There are other illegal routes. There are other illegitimate platforms. But the legitimate platform where the realm of the spirit can find expression in this realm is an altar. Because according to the law of territory, a spirit or an entity cannot enter another entity, another territory without the configuration to suit that territory. For instance, a spirit should not be in the earth without a body. That's against the law of territory. If you must function in the earth realm as a territory, you must have a body. Are we together now? So every spirit, including God, is at the mercy of a body or an altar to find expression in a territory. The first death recorded in the Bible happened on account of altars. Two men, brothers, went to offer sacrifices and all of them created platforms that was way before the old testament adam had access to mysteries and he taught his children how to invoke the presence of god and it's not the way it is today there and then you will know whether what you did worked or not and the bible says abel did something and cain did something too and all of a sudden the sacrifice of Abel ascended the heavens. Are we together now? And then for Cain nothing happened. And then Cain killed his brother. And blood spilled upon the earth. And he thought it was over. But the Bible told us that discussion continued in the realm of the spirit. Something about that activity called the presence of God. And God said, Cain, there is a discussion going on in heaven. But this discussion is between me and blood. So what is going on? He said, am I my brother's keeper? He said, ah, don't tell lies. There is a witness standing in heaven here. That blood, a symbol of an altar, is granted me authorization to probe you. And because of that, I'm going to curse you. Judgment still happened even after Abel died. Listen very carefully to what I'm teaching you supernatural system of authorization an altar let me give you one more definition is where covenants are activated and maintained an altar is the platform where covenants are both activated and maintained a covenant cannot work without an altar it is an altar that gives life to a covenant. It's impossible for altars to work. Covenants to work without an altar. An altar is like the battery that powers this gadget for instance. The potentials of this gadget is only seen when you slot in the battery. That's what an altar is. It gives life to a covenant. Now write this down please. Altars can be physical monuments. Altars can be institutions. And altars can be people. Altars can be physical monuments. Like we had in the Old Testament. They would erect stones. Altars can be institutions. Like the Jerusalem temple that was built by Solomon. 
He said, oh God, if anybody faces this temple and prays, hearken to that person's prayer. Not because of the rightness of the prayer, but a covenant that was enacted there. And an altar was raised to that effect. The reason why salvation, the covenant of salvation can work, is because there is an altar that was erected not just in the earth, in heaven. The book of Hebrews tells us that Jesus, the high priest, carried his blood to the most holy place in heaven and poured it upon an altar. That is still speaking today. That is the basis upon which whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, whether in you are sleeping, whether you are awake, it kicks that reality, you will be saved. Because there is an altar that eternally secures that.